All right, happy Disney campers. Woo, it is our last day here. It's the afternoon. Um, and I got the camera pointed to, started packing up and I'm like, oh man, before I start packing everything up, I promised a review on our pop-up gizmos. So this is definitely not a scientific review, um, but it is a, uh, a review <laughs> nonetheless, at least our thoughts and feelings on them and would we buy them or would we recommend them um so we bought them obviously but so would we recommend them to someone else and the answer to that question is absolutely um we came down in june and we didn't have pop-up gizmos in june and you couldn't even sleep in the bunkins um and, and you know we have a little one she's uh she's three currently and you know she needs naps in the middle of the day so um what we would do is we'd either sorry a golf cart just went by what we would do is we would just um actually lay her either in one of the dinette seats or um actually the far far bucket it didn't get as hot so it was a little more bearable as far as temperature um still it would get warm to the point it was either hard to sleep or she would be so sweaty or we would be sweaty that um it just it wasn't comfortable so kept reading about pop-up gizmos how much of a difference they make and uh decided uh all right let's go ahead and do this so what you're looking at is the super high wind version of the pop-up gizmo this is the more expensive one um just google pop-up gizmos uh, and you can see the, the different versions. They have a, um, a, a classic version um, or a regular version, I guess. Um, it doesn't have the bungees on it and uses more of the clamps. I actually have the clamps. Um, I don't have as many clamps on this side as I do the other side because I have it uh, clamped so that the, the AC can still kind of channel the, uh, the water. But this is the super high wind. We did get a little bit of wind this trip in one of our storms and they're still on. They didn't blow off. Um, I didn't have to worry about readjusting them or trying to find a uh, stool to be able to reach everything. And yeah, I'm pretty tall. I'm 6'3", so, um, but even if, if they would have blown off, I would have had to um, pull the cooler out or something to get up top to make sure that it was on like it's supposed to be. Um, but they do make a difference. So, uh, our AC has three settings on it, um, and we were able to run it either in the first setting or the second setting the entire trip. We ended up not having, even having to put it on the third. When we were in June, we ended up having to put it on the third setting almost every single day because it would get so hot in the bunk ends. So we were able to keep the bunk ends cool. Um, there are a couple of times that they get, did get a little bit warm. Um, part of that is we either if we pulled the curtains or something, try to... Um, try to keep our daughter from being distracted once she'd first go to sleep and then we'd open it back up after she got to sleep they make it a little warmer but i'm telling you it had to be at least a 20 degree difference again not scientific more of just my, my opinion and feeling um but i was comfortable i didn't get sweaty she didn't get sweaty <laughs> you probably hear her talking in the background she's inside the camper um so i would absolutely recommend these anyone that has a pop-up now a couple other things that we did read is you know people will actually get um what is it reflectix i think is the name of it it's just like that foil like insulation and you can cut the shape of the reflectix out to fit in these inserts here where you um where your window's about and then even underneath and the inside of the bunk and below the bed people will put reflectix there uh, just as another measure to try to help keep the bunkins cool because that, that's the place where you're going to lose the most heat. I mean, at the end of the day, a pop-up, it's a tent, you know, it's a tent on wheels. Um, some people might not like me saying that, but it is what it is. It's a, it's on wheels and it's, it's tent ends and there's only so much you can do for the insulation, but if you can help it, that's great. Um, highly recommend pop-up gizmos. Uh, other people have done solar blankets and tarps and it is what it is this is kind of a, a, a nicer look i think you know they're trimmed out they're they're cut they look nice um so you've got the silver side and then i don't know if i can flip it with the bungees on here yeah there we go. and then um more like a tarp on the bottom so um they're just done so nicely the other big benefit to the pop-up gizmo is here at least and i'm sure a lot of other campgrounds you see that 
pine trees. Yes, version of pine. So what do you get with pine? You get sap. Um, you get sap, you get pine needles, and when they fall, they just kind of stay there. If you look on top of the pop-up gizmo, it's got some pine needles uh, up there right now. Those end up staining the canvas, so then you have to clean it and try to get it off. And sometimes you can't get it off, um, you know, it just, it is what it is. These end up protecting your bunk ends from that. And then a bird flies by and decides to do its business on your camper, guess what? Pop-up gizmo is going to absorb that. These come off super easily and they're easy to clean from from what i can tell so far um so you know in my opinion buy them um and save your bunk ends uh, give your bunk ends maybe a little more life even you know that's a that's a claim on my end that i think it, it probably would help hold up um if you have questions about the pop-up gizmos uh let me know it took us uh we actually installed them for the first time and we did it in the dark and it took us probably seven ten minutes at most i mean it, it's super easy um now that we know how to do it i think it would be even easier to install we could do it even faster than that um as far as reflectix go uh, i might end up picking up some reflectix for our next trip which is in november and the only reason i'm doing that is to help maybe keep a little bit of the heat in for that trip um pop-up gizmos are also good for keeping heat in um during the uh the cooler months so hot out during the summer, heat in during the uh, winter or fall, um, you know, you, you can't beat that. Um, but yeah, we're going to be down here in November and I'll probably add Reflectix at least to the bottom of the bunk because that seems to be where our, our um, some of our air leaks in, uh, maybe not the windows. So uh, more to come on that. If we do that, I'll let you know. I'll record another video. Um, and again, I might try to get a little more scientific and maybe do some thermometer readings with this if I can figure out how to do that um, between now and November so I'll just set it up one day the biggest thing is I'm gonna have to have two similar temperature days which it shouldn't be too difficult but let's see if I can set it up at home before um, November and I'll try to get a reading one day without the pop-up gizmo on see how hot it gets in the bunk ends and then the next day if we got a similar temperature situation um, set it up with the pop-up gizmo and we'll see how um, how much heat it does help keep out all right you guys have a great day if you have questions leave it in the comments um, be glad to answer them and again just google pop-up gizmos um, the guys in Texas I wish I could remember his name he was super easy to work with on the phone he actually had these out to me in about four days so um, awesome easy to work with all right we'll see you later bye